Mystery Tackle Box versus Mystery Tackle Box Pro. Let me share what I got today. I bought both of them from Amazon with my own money. It's, this isn't sponsored and this is definitely not a gift. I bought it just because I wanted to kind of compare because and also try to figure out if um, they had some interesting stuff I could use for fun because I, when I go deep sea fishing, so I go deep sea, fi deep sea fishing uh, as in head boat fishing. You get on a boat, you pay like 120 bucks or so. Um, well, anywhere between 60 to 120 based on whether you fish six hours or a full day, which is eight to 10 hours. And uh, you get on a boat with, I don't know, anywhere between 20 to 40 other people in a huge boat. Not, you know, think of it as a charter boat, but much bigger. And then you fish with a bunch of strangers and um, you're out there in the ocean for quite a while. And you basically go out fishing for like i said like somewhere between six to ten hours and when you're fishing eight to ten hours they'll the captain will try their best to get you on fish so that means they go out deep as in like uh, an average of hour and a half to maybe two and a half hours somewhere between 20 to 40 miles even farther out to the ocean uh, i'm in the east coast so i go saltwater fishing uh, in the Atlantic Ocean. So either out of Maryland Ocean City or um, Delaware. So let me, let's check it out uh, what, what this is all about. You know, again, this one is, I think I paid what, somewhere in the range of what, 25, 30, like $30 or something like that, $25. And this one I paid like $10 more, like $35. So just looking at the list of what they sent. Um, yeah, this one has five items. And this one has six items. The Pro, supposedly, six items. And this one says, what, uh, 11, um, 21, 31, like 30, 40, like maybe around $40 and this one is around $25 $30 rough estimate you you guys do the math um, so let's check it out the box is a little bit bigger but all it this one has is one more item than this one so I don't understand what the pro is so let's start off with the soft bait so let's look at it the only soft bait i see are these two so maybe um let's start with i guess more comparison to these two right here shrimp yeah shrimp this one looks good it comes with the jig um the box is kind of flimsy i didn't rip this i didn't take it out this came like this so and then this one's a little bit messy that doesn't look brand new this looks like something you would get from a outdated clearance box at walmart or something like that or bass pro where they want to get rid of it for the season because it was nobody bought it um but the color itself looks pretty good speaking of like if you guys are um, looking for deep sea fishing this is probably this jig's not going to help this might help to get catch on a high low rig uh, on a hook um sea bass or flounder will definitely bite this will bite too but the jig itself is kind of useless because you don't cast you drop with six anywhere from four ounce to 12 ounces depending on how deep the captain takes you out or how strong the water current or the tide is at that time uh, and the wind condition and how fast the boat is drifting, whether it's anchored. There's all these many things that you're gonna have to learn, but these jigs is not gonna, you won't be able to cast or anything like that. You're gonna have to have a heavier weight. So this is more for like inshore or I don't know, not even surf fishing, but let's see, um, what do we have? Speaking of like when you guys deep sea fishing, you gotta really consider like, many different things uh, especially whether or not you are going to get motion sickness last two visits trip i went um the guys next to me uh, a, a gentleman next to me was throwing up a lot i don't even know why i mean he came by himself he brought all these equipment looks like he's been fishing like take your drum amine or 
uh, day before or like at least sit in way in the back or something like that. The guy was sitting in the front. Um, I think the boat was going fast and there were some swells like waves and it was a little rockier in the front than in the back. So the guy was throwing up a lot and he happened to be in front of me. So he was throwing up. So I had to back up and luckily I, I avoided his vomit splattering all over me. Unlucky for the guy next to my right behind me, he, it went straight into his face. So, um, yeah, it's like, dude, if you're, if you're going to get seasick, um, be prepared for it. Don't go there thinking that this time it's going to be better. I, I've never been seasick. I've fished out there for like, you know, I go out, I don't know, at least 10 to 20, 15 times a year and I've never been sick, but, um, I do take, I try to take some motion sickness, Dramamine or something like that, uh, just in case. Uh, if I forget, I forget. I still won't get sick, but if I have it, um, and if I want to make sure or if, the, if there's too much wind, I definitely take it. I, I'm prepared. That's why I don't get sick and I enjoy fishing, but I hate it when people come unprepared or um, just take drum. I mean, it works. My 80-year-old daughter was on a 10-hour 10 10 hour fishing with me, and she was totally fine. It was her first trip. My sister, who gets really seasick, my last trip 10 hours she was okay because she took dramamine and she was prepared um not like don't take it in on the book but take it an hour before or a night before that's what they did i made them take one um before they went to bed and then took another one one of those less drowsy one but anyways um this is the other soft bait there's no other soft bait close to it so i don't know this one in I can't use it on deep sea fishing. I'll probably use it for bass fishing, but uh, or inshore fishing. But it's so light, it, you could barely cast it in the ocean. Probably better for fresh water or calm days. This one I could use it for. I don't know, like again, just like this high low rigs on bluefish or mackerel flounder. Uh, it'll, it'll bite if you give a good presentation. The hook. Um, they're basically the same type of hooks. This looks more like soft water, like fresh water hooks. This one definitely looks like salt water. How do I know? Because this one is thicker and stronger. So yeah, if you're catching like blue fish or something bigger, um, it won't bend and it will last. This one's definitely weak flimsy you know more for like pan fish this is probably not gonna be unless i'm catching small fish i don't know why they put this in a hot like and then this is a shank offset barb hook it says corrosion resistant coating but this is more for like bait fish not for bigger fish i guess you could use it but this is this is gonna bend quickly for most most big fish when you pull them up this one not so much and it'll last me quite a while but I'm surprised this came on a cheaper box and this came on a more expensive box. Well, go figure. That kind of shows um, someone's not doing the quality control for mystery tackle box. Uh, uh, I might be wrong, but I've, from a consumer perspective, just looking at this, same hook, same type, the suckier, suckier ones that I probably won't use comes in a more expensive pro box and then the better one um, comes in this box so cheaper box yeah uh, which, bucktail i like it but it looks like really old old bucktail it doesn't matter i'm definitely using this on a high low rig this is not going to be on the bottom as a sinker i won't be able to cast this either unless i'm on a charter or inshore or really shallow like kayak fishing or something like that if you try to fish this and cast it or put it on a put it on as a sinker this is gonna get tangled up with everybody next to you speaking of i have people bring their spinning reel with mono on it um like a 50 pound mono like the whole reel was a mono uh line so that guy was just tangling up with everybody he tangled with me once and that was enough for me so um 
yeah, I, I washed him and the guy to my right carefully and all they did was tangle with the folks behind the other side of the boat or with each other. They didn't tangle with me after once because that's once was enough for me. I figured out these guys had no clue what they're doing. So I would soon as I would look at their line and see saw how they were and there's their sinkers too. they were, these guys were using like four ounce sinkers on a on a um, deep sea fishing where the captain clearly said you need to put an eight ounce or heavier or something like that so yeah I, I was pulling my lines up and letting these guys tangle and I got stuck waiting for the mate or the captain to come down and untangle these guys because there were the, the fishing was packed so yeah if you're fishing be prepared don't go out there thinking that you know how to fish uh, ask the captain, call ahead, um, do some research, but like, don't go putting these kind of like half, half an ounce stuff um, and casting it or hoping that this will drop to the bottom if you're if it's going down like 100, 200 feet down into a deep sea when the water current and the wind condition while the boat is drifting super fast, it's not going to hold bottom. It's just going to tangle with everybody. Same thing for this. This is surf fishing or inshore fishing or shallow water. This is kind of useless. I'll use this as a high-low rig. Probably put it on a high uh, with a heavier 8-ounce, 6-ounce, or 4-ounce um, sinker that I have. Let's see. Again, the top water for bass fishing. I don't know why they keep or surf fishing maybe on a less windy day. It's way too light. Um, so maybe I, when I'm kayaking with like basically non the on a, in a bay or by the pier or something like that where there's no water current, this will work. When I'm fishing by myself, it's not gonna work in a boat. Um, maybe charter for top water on a bunker you would need to throw it. But other than that, deep sea fishing is useless and that's it you don't get anything else on these the cheaper box and then more expensive box you get this chick head which is again three ounce this is not going to be useful in a deep sea fishing maybe on a kayak um on a shallower water or on a charter boat but deep sea fishing don't bring these uh, maybe on a higher rig uh, just like the bucktail high low rig you could probably put this on the higher rig but not as a sinker really technically and don't even try to use this as to cast it this is not going to go anywhere with it but that's about it um i hope you enjoyed it will, will i recommend or or subscribe to this nope i will not do it um I wish they would do a better quality control on these things like like and also you know I guess this this place ships from Florida were meant for Florida fishermen but this is definitely whether wherever you go this is not going to work for deep sea fishing for head boats or party boats this is going to be for a charter your own personal kayak your own personal boat especially in a shallow water most of these guys are not gonna work um, but yeah would I recommend for people for deep sea fishing like I go uh, probably not it's it's fun to just open this but it's like a um, fun gift for somebody that's a beginning fisherman to play with I probably personally won't need it I, I know exactly what I want and these are definitely not the stuff that I would want or really need um, to use I'll probably give these away to some people, friends or something like that, that does bass fishing. But yeah, um, if you're a beginner and you are trying to figure things out, try it. Um, but if you're going for deep sea fishing, don't go with this. I'll, I'll probably, I'm planning on checking out other saltwater fishing um, that is more tailored to deep sea fishing. I'll upload those video. I'll probably buy those and check it out. But subscription, you got to watch how if you can do one box thing and then buy do a comparison. Um, don't commit to three months, six months or 12 months to it unless 
you purchase one uh, of each option and compare them like I did. And hopefully you don't, now that you saw my comparison of these two boxes, you don't need to do it. I saved you some money and time and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.